years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Here we go again. Hey, everything fucked up tonight. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett. This is The Ramble. We're trying it again. Ah, yes. Take two, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see here. Where am I? There I am. Okay, let me explain a few things. Uh, we had all kinds of... we. We've had all kinds of rat fucks tonight. And, oh, hold on a second. I've got to fix my picture on top of everything else. Wow. I, you know, this is, um, this is not the big wide screen that we normally have. Hold on a second. We just got to change things here if I can. Uh, uh, let me see here. First of all, let me change that for the people who will be calling into the program. And then let me change this. Uh, so that we can get a nice widescreen on it. Let me see here. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. A widescreen. There we go. And then I got to go to advanced, and I got to bring down the video here to a, a, a nice, uh, um, a nice uh, brightness. There we go. And we're all right, and now we're okay to go. This is, you know, this is this is the clusterfuck that is the uh, Alex Bennett program tonight. Uh, first of all, we had a problem with the, uh, OBS, which is our switching software, which upgraded itself. And then when it upgraded itself, something else went wrong with it, and it uh, completely erased the um, uh, the uh, link that we have to OBS, to, uh, it's too much to explain to you, okay? You don't need to know how the meat is, how the hamburger's made, or how we kill the cow, you know, that sort of thing. So I couldn't get pictures up of people and so on, but now I think I will be able to. Let me just see here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so now let me uh, just turn on our Skype lines. If there's anybody left who even wants to talk to me at this point, uh, this is this is just it just an amazing clusterfuck of, of things and I, I this is just the beginning of the problems okay that we've had uh, I had some problems la what night before last I think where this whole computer just went went down okay here we go here comes Phil and let me see here if I can actually put Phil on the uh, on the uh, uh, thing. There we go, scuba diver. Okay, what? and he's up. Well, I put hey. him. In, I put. I put him in source one, and he didn't even come up in source one. So uh, <laughs> that doesn't matter. He's in source yeah. three. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, two things. Uh, yeah. One is, do I get a refund for the twenty-five minutes of show that uh, we, we didn't get? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, just uh, just send me uh, the uh, send, send you an invoice, huh? Send you, send me the invoice, okay? And I'll uh, I'll send it on to our accountant who will try and get you back. Let's see here. Here's uh here's uh let's see here. There uh, Zeller, Mr. Yeah. Zeller. No, what happened was the thing that makes OBS take the NDI stuff suddenly wasn't in the computer anymore. I mean, it's just oh. It's just one thing after another, and I don't even want to, I don't even get into it. But jeez yeah. almighty. Uh, yeah. So any, Jeff, any, Jeff looks like it's cold where you guys are. He's in uh, Florida. Aren't you in Florida or somewhere? No, else? I'm home. You're back home. Oh, then you are cold. Uh, yeah. Because guess where I was at 85 degrees and every day oh wow yeah same in hawaii and maui it was 87 every day no rain really that's great yeah. so anyway i manage it, what i what i do have to give myself credit for is the fact that i was able to get this thing back on the air yeah. uh you know and figure out what it was in fairly short time so i can't be losing my mind that much but i'm just, okay. i'm getting so sick of the technology because what happened on a uh, day before yesterday, everything in this computer went down. It just it just went south. I couldn't even get the apple on the apple to come up. 
Really? Okay? Yeah. Well, it was one I, thing after another, and I finally figured it all out, or I got it working again. But geez yeah. almighty, you know, this is, you know, who and who knows what the next part of this cluster fuck is going to be. Well, I'm just uh, if I I was afraid to call in because I didn't want to put more stress on you when you were going through all of this stuff. I saw the green light on. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, I figured, all right, well, you know, Thank if he you wants for, me to call, he'll call. Yeah. He, he sometimes you write notes like what's happening and I'm going, fuck you. I'm, something's happening. Obviously. No, no. My yeah. note was pretty easy. It was, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, uh, do you want me to call? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, uh, it, and that works okay. But anyway, so I'm, I'm like, you know, it's like it's a clusterfuck. It's just all right. Well, the next clusterfuck is: Are you going to put the other things on YouTube or just you? What do you mean, other things on YouTube? Uh, so far, and remember, I'm 30 seconds behind, but uh, I've got a big photo of you on oh, the YouTube. Oh, I see. And in spite of the fact that I was able to get the thing working, I am so out of it now. You know that I oh. don't do this. There right. we go. Well, I'll see it in 30 seconds. There's <laughs> our guys, and that's not even the one I want, actually. I want this one. Okay, mm -hmm. so there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, just... yeah, I hate to bug you. You know, I figured, you know, sometimes you know what you're doing, and, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, you don't need to hear it from so me. So, I, you know, I mean, I just, it, it, it was like, it, I don't know whether this was because of the problems I had the other night and it changed something and got rid of something or whether it was just uh, uh, that I upgraded to the new uh, version of OBS because I figured maybe they had some problem with the old OBS and they wanted to quickly solve it. And um, I changed to that and all of a sudden I couldn't get the picture and I couldn't figure out why and then I went, well... There's an NBI, NDI is a thing that puts all these little pictures up there of each of these people when they call. And uh, that program, which is normally in there working with and in conjunction with OBS, was completely gone. It was out of the system. So I had to reload it in. Once I reloaded it in, well, you can see it's working now. Now, are you running Catalina? No. Okay, I, I'm waiting. If my thing still shows that I have an available upgrade, but I uh, I, I didn't get it. at Catalina because uh, I did install it on one machine, and then my network wouldn't read that machine. Yeah. So I just you know uh, uh, these people never can get anything right the first time. You know. Well, yeah, you know, I I when I downloaded Mojave, uh, my. Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, my Presonus uh, uh, thing wouldn't uh, wouldn't work because they didn't they didn't have Mojave in their uh, culture yet. So it took a couple of weeks. Well, that's that's a problem with uh, with uh, the mixer uh, with the mixer. They should be ready for any upgrades that happen. And if yeah. they're not ready, well, then fuck them. You know, and they, and they weren't uh, at the time Mojave came out because I downloaded it right away. Let me see. But, Bree has joined us. Let's see yeah. here if we can get him in the picture. There he is. There's the top of Bree's head. Uh, I had trouble finding you tonight. What? <clears throat> I had trouble finding you. Why? You had trouble finding us, too. I had trouble finding you. I turned the whole <laughs> thing off. I, I got... Uh, I. What I have to do is turn the whole thing off and start from scratch. Otherwise, I can't figure out how it's done. And uh, so finally, I solved the problem. But uh, I, I went back to an old version of OBS uh, while I was at it. But also, uh, what was it that uh, there was some other upgrade that happened? Oh, yeah, to OBS. And it, it sometimes when it upgrades, it upgrades fine. And other times, it takes away my audio source. And I have to re put in my audio source and uh, this time that's exactly what it did so I had no audio for the first 10 minutes of the show then when I went further into it and tried to go to this I couldn't get people I was you know who wants to hear about it by the way let's see all of your head uh, Bree. not uh the um my the iPad that I'm using has to charge otherwise I would put it up there but the long cord I have for my iPad's not working yeah. So I have to put it there, and I have it propped up. Oh, okay. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. This should be an audio show anyway. 
Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, I just, it just te technically everything that could go wrong, everything during the last couple of days went wrong. And, yeah. and I just, uh, you know, it, it, maybe the problem that I just had was part of normalizing what should be happening. But uh, I had to literally go in and re-upgrade, uh, uh, re-up uh, a certain program that makes the NDI work with the OBS and so on. So here we are. We're working. It's fine. And l I wonder if I, I should call Kathleen. Let me see, because she called... And uh, she uh, she probably doesn't know we're back on. Let me see here. Uh, where, where, where do we have our previous callers? Let me see here. Oh, here we go. Plus. And then I go, oh, let me see here. Well, let me see here. Add to, uh, uh, let's see. Kathleen. Let me see here. Let's see if it, does it come up here? Kathleen. Kathleen. Lean Holstead. Here we go. Yeah, she she tried to call and then uh, it didn't uh, it didn't work. So let me call her out of courtesy. If she doesn't answer, I guess maybe she's given up and gone to sleep or something like that. So you know, uh, come on, come on, Kathleen. It says calling Kathleen, but she's not picking up. So it's early here. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should call her. I know. I'll call her on the phone. That's what well, I'll do. Uh, Kathleen, uh, uh, upgrades suck nowadays, she says. Um, <laughs> we're ba we're ba well, let's I was see. up very early because I had a meeting in the U.S. Yeah. No <clears throat> the meeting was about 6 to 7 p.m. your time. What was it, a Skype uh, thing? Yeah, let me call um, Kathleen here. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Call her. All right. Here, here we go. Let me see here. Is it calling? Uh, you may have to upgrade your phone. Uh, <laughs> you get upgrade the phone. This is, this is, uh, oh, that, oh, that's a message that I got from her. Wait a minute. Let me just call the number. Uh, I just can't do anything these days. Here we go. Here we go. I'll call her and let her know we're, we're on. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Da -da 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 do 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 Hi, it's Alex. Uh, listen, we were having troubles, but we're back on if you want to call. I saw that you were trying to call. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you, you were off. Well, I was. Bye. Okay. I see. That's the kind of courtesy we have around here. It also is a testament to all the lack of people we have calling. So, you know, it uh, yeah. works both ways, it's, you know. Hey, you know, it's five, it'll be six in a minute. That's, that's not bad, yeah, considering well, it's Tuesday and you had a 25-minute lapse. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I got us back on by uh, 50 minutes, so what the hell, you know. Yeah. So we're, 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 we're going along, but I, I just am so tired of the technology, you know, it just, it's so exhausted me, you know, I just, you just, it's like a light. Oh, let me tell you what else went out. Okay. The lights, the light in here yeah. no longer responds to me, to my voice command. Why? Because Fios decided to change their Wi-Fi. Oh, shit. And the only Wi-Fi that works using that are the ones that are in the other room that I have a, uh, a hard wire, an Ethernet, going into a oh, Wi-Fi extender. How can they change their Wi-Fi? Don't you get command they, of the well, passwords? Well, they no, they had their Wi-Fi, okay? Yeah. And then they said, we have a new Wi-Fi thing we're doing. Uh, that you're gonna like uh, it. It's it, it, it. Where before you had like uh, uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. It's Kathleen. Okay. She's got a skull. Huh? <laughs> She's got a what? A skull. She's that's got her a picture. Uh, oh, that's her picture. Metal skull. That's a picture of her metal skull. Good Here, news. hold on a second. I'll explain this to you in a second about, I have good news about too. files. Let me see here. A Bob Kazoo. There we go. And there we go with that. And then I go like that. And there she What is that? <laughs> Want to look like the Grim Reaper or something? I don't know. Yeah, it would be black. <laughs> anyway, I did that because I saw you had called earlier and I didn't want you to be left out. Anyway, where was I? Oh, so. Um, Fios. Fios. You know, usually a lot of your Wi-Fi, 
you have a one Wi-Fi, and then you have a 5G Wi-Fi, right? Yes, right. Mm -hmm. And so they right. had a 5G Wi-Fi, and they had a regular Wi-Fi. Well, they did away with the 5G Wi-Fi. Why? Oh, they did? Really? No, they went to a one Wi-Fi where it will judge what your piece of equipment is like, and if it can take the 5G, it will go 5G. And if it can't... I like that. It will. Yeah, well, it sounds good, except that these light bulbs and these sockets only go with non 5g they go with 2.4 gigahertz and probably yeah, all it's trying to read is the higher gigahertz and it won't work so there's my there's my story and i'm sticking to it all right doesn't that suck yeah, yeah life's a bitch yes Bree. <laughs> well i'm pulling out a form so i'm, I'm listening uh, oh, a little bit there um yeah i I, but I think I know what you went through. I had to get a PCI, a new card, uh, because, uh, yeah, my, my the router they put in is only five gigahertz, yeah. and there is it has two point four, but the two point four is much slower. Mm -hmm. So I have to get the five gigahertz. So I had to get a new card. Right. And yeah. Yeah. It's just it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, I I, I got one of these routers that I've got. 5g1 and 5g2 and then the right the 2.4 so it's giving you an extra 5g line i guess if you had gamers or something yeah, and, they, but, and there but, were several but, people in the room and they wanted to be on different uh channels uh th this thing does the different channels no i had the, uh, but i had the option not to go over to this thing the only thing was then one of my lines wouldn't work at all and the only one that would work would be the high-speed one. So in any event, I can't get these fucking things to work now. Turn on the switch. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> what I'm. That's what I'm back. We that, get up. <laughs> that's what I'm back to doing. But I have to walk all the way over there and lean over to turn the thing off. Uh, uh, Rob Alfano wrote me, uh, uh, and he sent me some thing. He's he's doing this diet where you fast for like 14 hours between dinner and breakfast. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I've lost six pounds this week. You He's going to the crazy diet. You dieting. think you've you lost six pounds. You don't, you don't. No, I, I'm not starving myself. I'm eating three no, meals a day. No, you thought you lost six pounds. You haven't. You've lost six pounds of water weight. Some no, problem. I haven't. Yeah. I'm still eating. Steak. I'm, Phil, the, Phil. The only thing is, is I'm not eating. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I don't get the whole thing. Between okay. 6 p.m. When you wake up in the morning. 8 a.m. When you have a, wake up in the morning, have some eggs and have some bacon. And then, I for, did. then for lunch, have yourself a, a, a salad without tomatoes and things like that. And for dinner, that's have, what I did have another that's steak. And that's it. You know, that's well, really basically, that's what I'm doing. No, it's not and because you're still it, it, fat. What, yeah, what this does is it lowers your um, insulin resistance. Yeah, right. And it's the insulin resistance that causes me to be fat and stay fat. Well, and so uh, it, Rob said he lost 14 pounds so far. Yeah, but Ooh. you see, a lot of it, and his wife's doing it, too. I know. But a lot of times mm -hmm. it's not realistic weight loss. Uh, well, this, uh, there's a lot of doctors behind this, and I, I sent the video that he had sent me to my nutritionist, uh, and she Ross says this is great stuff. About. Okay, mm -hmm. well, go ahead and do it. Right? Let's see, let's see if a fat fill can become skinny. Fill. It's, it's a keto <laughs> inter, in, intermittent, uh, yeah. intermittent. Uh, yeah, are you familiar with it, you Kathleen? Know, every <laughs> week, every <laughs> week, somebody <laughs> comes up with a diet of the week, okay? Uh, and, this and one they, seems to work. Wait a minute. Yeah, and they all seem to work, but they don't. And like, you know, my diet worked for me, and I've done it before, and I've been doing it for the last uh, 20, 25 years on and off whenever I've needed to diet, and I knew Dr. Stillman. Um, uh, it wasn't Stillman. It was the other guy, uh, the, the guy that died on the ice. Um no, it was the, was, wasn't it the Stillman diet? Well, well, no, what, what do they call that diet? Uh, it's his name. Uh, um, 
The Atkins. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Atkins was my friend. No, so yeah, much yeah. a friend, I couldn't remember his name right. Anyway, That's the guy you would like. It's all me. Did you push him you on? You just that gotta ice? watch Richard what? Simmons. What? Did you push him on? Oh, the used to do those videos. I didn't push Richard him. Simmons. Simmons. Richard Simmons. Hey, Simmons. hey he knew Richard side. Simmons. Him in your living room. Alex knew Richard Simmons. Yeah. Richard Simmons used to live in San Francisco. Yeah. I used to see him on Union Street yeah. driving his little MG really? in, in shorts. Yeah. Oh, he's always been in the shorts. Oh, he, he came on my show once. I don't know if you were yeah. there, Kathleen, when he did this. It was freezing outside. Freezing! And he, he shows show? up in his fucking shorts and T-shirt. Oh, come on. You see what I mean? My mother used to watch that guy. And the shorts are too small. Everything is hanging out. Come on already now. <laughs> like it's advertising. It's two pounds of blowing in a one-pound bag. Richard, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> but what did you say when you saw him with the shorts? It's like, come on already. You got to, I mean, yeah. you won't have to see everybody hanging out at 8 in the morning. <laughs> It was too cold for them to hang out. So nobody seems to care, but I did go to the uh, oncologist. Well, I, we were oh, going to ask you. We, we figured wanna... you'd tell us when you were ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is he going to seed you, or is he going to oh, yeah, cut you? Sure. It's not going to cut me. They don't oh, cut. They cool. don't cut people my age. Cyber knife, you told me. Well, cyber knife isn't cutting. I hear that sounds like a knife to me. It's just a name. It's a name, and actually, it. it's a it's a product name. Uh, uh, the, it's stereo something or another is the name of the actual process. Could and, you get quadraphonic? No, and it it uh, it is a uh, highly uh, beamed, concentrated beam of a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, what what we're going with with me? <laughs> you know, I was worried that what they were going to do is throw the hormones on me, and there are no horm hormones in this what? thing. So That's I don't have to do the hormones. Change this your voice. Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, you were afraid change your voice. Yeah, I'm not going to gr grow tits, and I'm not going to, you, you know. You shop with me and my mother. <laughs> you know. We're going I'm not going to wind up, I'm not going to wind up making <laughs> Kathleen jealous of my chest, you know. You're going to, then you'd have to buy the bro or the man's ear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. But um, the, um. Uh, what what the doctor uh, said to me is it it was a, actually it was a very very I like the doctor a lot oh, yeah. he's, he's terrific I mean I I like his his attitude okay here comes Kevin hold on a second everybody <clears throat> will have to wait like you'll have to wait did he offer to get he you a Rudy's you signature no no okay. anyway Rudy's autograph hi, oh. hi Kevin so anyway he, here here's the sum total oh. of it first his uh, assistant comes in. And he starts telling me, you know, asking me some questions and telling me what they might do. And then the doctor, his name is Dr. Richard Stock, uh, comes in. And he is, I don't know how to put it, but, you know, if you're going to talk about uh, uh, his bedside manner, he's terrific. He's oh, just God. terrific. He looks gruff when he walks in the room, and then he just, he just, he just starts talking, and you... You know, he's very straightforward about everything and so on. And he said, um, listen, here's what we're going to do. He said, you have a Gleason 7. He said, it's in about, out of the 12 cores, it was in 10 of them. So it's it's fairly well throughout the prostate. Ooh. So what we want to do is we want to, he says, we want to get everything we can uh, with, uh, with it. So first of all, we're going to give you... Um, uh, the cyber knife, which is five visits of mm -hmm. about tell uh, them the Ginsu. You only need one visit. Yeah, right. The, with uh, with the, 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 the with five visits, um, and there's a there's a six visit that really is it's they call it the rehearsal, and what they what they do is they uh, fit you for a kind of a pad a bed that you're going to lie in so you don't move. And oh, wow. then they uh, they test you for various things, and they get the whole machine ready, and certain things they put into the computer to you know say how they're going to do it and so on. And then when you go in, uh, the doctor said from start to finish. In other words, from the minute you walk in and the minute you walk out, it's forty five minutes. Ooh. He said, and it's only five visits. Mm. He said, and then after that. He told me we'd wait a couple of days. My other doctor says it'll probably be about a month. But after that is over with, 
we're then going to do the seeds on top of it so that I get a, a double dose of the radiation. I get it covered in both ways. And oh, in this good. way, there's a 90% chance of total recovery. So. Uh, now, he said it was throughout, but it hadn't uh, ruptured or anything. No, no, uh, no You no, don't want to go the no, way no, I went, which no. is removal. He couldn't, he, he stuck his finger up my butt. He couldn't even feel them, okay? Oh, wow. There was nothing there, really. It, if it's there, it's inside. I said, do you think it's spread? He said, not at all. I said, then I said to him the important question I have constantly asked every doctor during this, is this going to kill me? And he looked me straight in the face and unabashedly said, no. So that was it. Knows. No. You know. Um, I, I have all of this coming, Alex. So I'm going to have to, uh, you know, research back to every time you and Phil talk about it. Yeah. Because I know it's coming. What's oh, you too? Yeah. Well, that doesn't mean that it's coming for you yet. Yeah. It's coming. My dad had it. You do. Oh, good thing positive. You don't know. Well, then start having well, PSAs I, at 50. I, I, I've yeah, been you, avoiding I, it. I've yeah, you don't want to stick your head in the sand with this stuff. I, I did. Mm -hmm. I the, I told you six years ago, I had a doctor mm -hmm. who put me on some meds, and that the meds made me really aggressive. And I stopped going to the doctor, and I stopped taking the meds. Oh, wow. What were uh, the meds? I didn't like the BPH meds that I was originally taking, which was the finasteride and the, what's the other one? Flomax. Yeah, well, from, uh, what, so I, from what I... I was I, happy with the Cialis. Well, from <clears throat> what, what I've learned, Phil, is, mm. is that perhaps, uh, you know, your, your uh, removal of your prostate was too fast to rush to judgment. You know. Possible. It's yeah. like uh, Angelina Jolie and her breasts. Yeah, she did it because she wanted to make sure there was no chance of that, you yeah. know, and she didn't need to. It wasn't that she had breast cancer yet, but this brachia test or whatever they call it uh, said, well, you have a good chance of having it. And so they yeah. did something about it. But yeah, she just made a life decision that she wanted to not even go there. Right. And I think yeah. Phil made the same kind of decision. Yeah. You know, yeah, he didn't want that, to go that's, there. That's a well, I also thing. had a twofold thing: is I was tired of the fact that I was waking up ten times a night. Yeah, with the uh, with the uh, to pee. I wake up. Well, congratulations. Maybe twice. Well, you're lucky. Congrats. Do you drink before bed, Phil, or no? Uh, yeah, coffee. It doesn't matter. Actually, <laughs> maybe that'll make him. We don't drink after like eight o'clock. Actually, yeah. the the downside of this. Uh, yeah. is going to be that I am going to feel like I have to pee a lot. Oh, and you'll be getting I, up then. And I'm be get, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, although the Cialis might help, but it, it's going to be my for a while because of the radiation on the prostate and so on, and the seeds are going to be active for about two months, I'm going to be peeing a lot. So we may be doing this show, and I may say, talk among yourselves, <laughs> I have to go pee. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if they can do a terp if you've got no, cancer. No, you don't, uh, we're not no, even talking can't. that, Phil. Come on. Well, I mean, afterwards, when you're cancer-free, no, maybe you can no, do a terp. No, I don't need to. After I'm cancer-free, after we've stopped, after the radiation has stopped happening, I'll start It'll, urinating at a regular rate. I see. Yeah, you know. So uh, that's a, but that's about the only side effect. And sometimes it's very minor, and sometimes it's very major. So, you yeah. know. Uh, well, you never know. Well, you never you know. Seem, seem very uh, 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 happy about this. Well, I'm Alex. happy because number one, I didn't want to do the hormones. Uh, I'm unhappy because I have to do different, two different kinds of, of radiation. But I'm happy that the uh, the kind of radiation I'm going to have is, you know, it's all all workable. The whole thing is is doable and is not going to kill me. Do you uh, need to do the seeds right away, or can you wait and see if they got everything? No, they can't tell that way. They no. they want to they, they want to make sure. You know, this yeah. doctor wants to make sure that all of it is gone. Okay, and he said and the chances is are ninety percent that you won't have it come back. He said, and I'd say you're probably in that ninety percent. You know? Well, that's why I had it ripped out. I wanted to make sure it was gone. Well, that you know? doesn't mean it's gone. Oh yeah, well if 
Yeah, that's true. But I've been getting PSA tests because every six the trouble, months. The trouble with ripping it out is you can then uh, dislodge some of the cancer cells, which can then right. travel elsewhere. Well, uh, the guy, the urologist yeah. claim to fame was that none of them did. Yeah. And, and they, uh, they continue to check me. Uh, yeah, it's but, been a couple but, of years but what now. They, but what they said to me... Um, that uh, that you know that that uh, the chances are I'm whoops I'm going to be okay all the way around. I mean you know that's that, good. Is, is, you know, uh, and as you said, uh, 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 Jeff, uh, I feel calmer about it because at least I know what the you know what's going to be happening. Now the other thing I got to do now I have to go to my doctor, and I mm -hmm. have to get uh, uh, him to okay the operations. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I'm going to be put out, so I have to go get him to do the blood test and say, okay, and my blessing goes with you. Uh, we Pre-op. Pre do the EKG. Yeah, you know, do like the that. EKG, which is always bad and off, but he can tell him that I had an echocardiogram uh, half a year ago and it was just fine, you know. When you get your EKGs, do they shoot you up with the drug or do you go on the treadmill? What? Uh, EKG? No, they just pl plug you in for about... 15 oh, seconds. No, oh, I was talking about the over. stress EKG. I was thinking about uh, the heart stuff. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I understand. I, I got that other EKG too. Yeah, well, prior my, that to, one I yeah. always come out bad. Yeah. Okay, because I I just have a, a heart, uh, uh, what do you call it? Heart murmur. Murmur. Yeah. 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 So it's well, no big deal. I mean, I'm sure they can still put me under. But anyway, I have to have two operations here. I have yeah. to have. Uh, he has to go in. Uh, as soon as I get the okay from the doctor, they immediately schedule me, and I go in, and he sticks uh, gold uh, markers in my prostate. Huh. Yeah. I'm getting gold in my prostate. Okay. Got some in your teeth. Now you get some in your prostate. Yeah, now I get it in my prostate. Uh, and also, he has to do what's called a separator. What it is is they put some gel between your bowel and your prostate so that when they irradiate your prostate, it doesn't affect the bowel mm -hmm. because otherwise the bowel could have some serious bowelitis or something like that. I don't know what it's called. Did you ask him any questions about the, I know you don't like this, but the proton therapy, did you, did you oh, ask he him? He said proton least? therapy sucks. Really? <laughs> yeah. The proton therapy. yeah. He said proton therapy to begin with is about... Mm -hmm. 60, 70 years old. It's not new oh. at all. And that these said, machines that they he, use are he, millions of he dollars. He doesn't recommend it at all. Oh. And everything I've read about proton therapy, nobody recommends it. Oh. You know. Uh, yeah, but that's CBD what Hayjack got. But but the the cyber knife. CBD uh, it, oil. Huh? No, the, the Take CBD oil. Yeah, sure. That'll <laughs> cure me. <laughs> Uh, uh, that cures everything. No, so I mean, so it it, it it in a way, what I'm looking forward to, if I can just get past all the stuff with like the doctor doing a, a checkup for me ahead of time and all of that, is I look upon it as kind of an adventure, science fiction adventure. You know, I mean, at least you only have to go through it once. I mean, you should, if, if you, if Kathleen, have you ever seen pictures of the cyber knife machine? It's like this big, huge, like thing that whirls around you and moves and does oh. things, and it's like a robot. Oh. It, it goes, it goes, boom, and zap, boom, zap. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That, that the could be robot cool. that they used with me, the doctor has got these things on his fingers, and it, they make five incisions in your uh, abdomen, and they, mm -hmm. and they go in and and move things around, and that's how they remove the prostate. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it was uh, an interesting machine. It's called laparoscopic, uh, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, except it went into my abdomen. Yeah, we're talking life. about <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about me now, Phil. I have a few moments here to talk about me. Ah, uh, <laughs> you know. Well, you got to talk about Kevin. Did you did you see he's oh, the luckiest God. guy on earth? Why is that? He went to the Forty Nine er game. He oh. played some sort of game, and he wound up on the jumbotron. <laughs> what? Did you what see that? No, what yeah, happened? I saw it. What happened? Oh, Kevin? hilarious! Tell us. Oh, I just entered one of those. Uh, it was at the beginning of the game. It was some of those uh, teeth, teeth alignment things, and you 
do a selfie of yourself and send it a hashtag. And uh, I happen to have my Santa hat on and all that crap. And my wife says, oh, you should do it. You should do it. And so I did it. And it was, you know, you know, the hide the shell game they usually put on the jumbotrons and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Well, it was a race. And I ended up on it and then ended up uh, winning it. Oh, wow. Oh, what what did they do besides funny. put your picture up there? Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty funny, actually. And uh, <laughs> I was sitting there watching it and I go, oh, shit, that's me. And, you know, four or five people on the way out of the damn thing. I go, was that you on the Jumbotron? And on the train on the way out, was that you? I said, nobody ever watches that shit. What did you win? They watch it. I, I ended up winning a free uh, Niner jersey of my choice. Oh. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Here, see if I can pull it up and play it. It's kind of funny. It's In, only about, uh, if you don't want to see it? Well, if you can show it to us without co violating some copyrights. No, no, it's just like, it's not even a full, it's not even the whole thing. It's only about 15 seconds long. Yeah. Like, they give it. you that uh, in payment for the loss of privacy for that moment. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. To their there. marketing. Uh, uh, let's, let's see if we can see it. A little higher. Put it on there. See, that's why I'm number 16 there. There he is. Hey, guys, that's almost impossible <laughs> to see. Yeah. He's on the right. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. So it's a video race. I was going to say, if they have, if they make you. There race, he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nobody could see. Yeah, there How could anybody tell anything? There he is. Yeah, Invisalign. We have that around here. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So, do you get a free Invisalign treatment? Yeah, so it was, uh, that's what I was kind of hoping, but because my daughter <laughs> yeah. could use it. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, uh, yeah, it was, no, it's a free jersey. So it's like a, you know, 200 bucks, $200 wow. jersey. These are so, anyway, this whole process is mm -hmm. not going to start until after the new year. Uh, since there's no rush, prostate cancer is very slow. And uh, we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll start doing this during the first of the year. I told my I had a trial at the uh, third week in, uh, in uh, uh, January. And he said, well, what we'll do is we'll just do the spacer operation and we'll do the, uh, the what they call the rehearsal for the, uh, for the cyber knife. That's where they fit you for the bed and they check you and see how big you are and, you know, where they're going to do things and how they're going to do it and, and so on. And then he said, after you're through with the trial, we'll just schedule the, the week and a half of, uh, uh, because it's every other day of those. And then after that, we'll schedule, he said to me, we'll schedule the, uh, uh, the what do you call it, the, uh, the seeds. Uh, although my doctor, when I wrote him just to thank him for everything, said, yeah, I talked to that doctor today, and, you know, we'll, you'll do the, the, the cyber knife, which is good, and then the seeds will be done about a month later. So I don't know if it's going to be done a month later or not. If it could be done a couple of days later, the whole process will be over in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So, But nice. in the meantime, I'm probably, some nights I may miss the show because I hear you get fatigue. And you, you know, they're, who knows? I may not feel anything. I may just feel tired like I always am, you know, and and be able to do the show every night. But uh, I'll probably be off more for the trial than I will for the goddamn uh, prostate uh, deal. Uh, so. You'll be glowing. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to be fine. And, um, you know, as they say, something else is going to kill, There's no kill trial. me. You know, so oh, no, the trial is for his apartment. Yeah. That's not happening. That's oh, you want to make we a bet? We all know that there'll be a delay. The, the other lawyers can have if to take they this delay off, this. Off. If they delay this, I'm going to just say, fuck all of you. We're going to trial now because I am not <laughs> women because I, I am put I am I am putting off serious medical because you're an MCA good guy, but he's a basketball player. Yeah, yeah, but it, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I, I've, I've, you, I put off cancer treatment so that I could be here for this, 
So you better fucking hold your trial, motherfuckers. If you yeah. tell them that, they're definitely going to keep delaying it. Yeah, you know, yeah, they they'll, figure they'll say, that... We'll get those <laughs> treatments and we'll see oh, you next really? year. You'll die, and then they can have a vacant apartment to rent for no, no, but, but, it, but it isn't the <clears throat> landlords don't mind us. The landlords <clears throat> like us. Yeah, oh, they'd okay. like you more if they were getting eight grand no. a month for the place. Oh yeah, but they <laughs> but they like us, and uh, they uh, this it's the other it's the guy who's like holding off on stuff, you know. Yeah. What do you what do you throw you throw stuff at your son? How, what kind of a mother is that? <laughs> well, here you are throwing the f bomb around. My son's in the background. You know, I see my computer screen. This head comes around. He's all ooh. And then you're all mother F, mother F, and so my son's all like you're a gangster, and that's when I threw the towel at him. <laughs> well, yeah. thank thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, I uh, with yeah, uh, I like influencing young children and and and, and molding their futures. <laughs> y- you know who is this? What, what is that other test that they did? Uh, that K test. What was it called? The four K. Yeah, because I, I had to go see my guy today. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on, hold on one second. Let me just see who this is, and then we'll get back to that. Who's Perfect. calling us right now? Who Who is this? Is this anybody? Well, I answered it, and they went away. So apparently, you know. It's like, Mickey Mouse. Yeah. So anyway, what were you it's saying? You, what were you saying, yeah. Kevin? Uh, Kevin is going to get the 4K test like you did because he's got some prostate issues. Yeah. Uh, did they no, t- I went. I went today, I went last week and I got checked and he sent me for tests today and had to go, uh, it was one of them freaking flow test things where they do the blood pressure thing on your wangy and it was a pain in the ass. Yeah. What, I had uh, to do that. Got a hold, I had to hold my pee all the way down to Monterey and then it was ridiculous. You're frozen. You're frozen for some reason, Thank Kevin. You. I don't know why. Oh, am I? Yeah, he froze on me a little bit. Camera. Too. Start yeah. Restart you know, one, camera. one thing, when they wanted me to pee, I never yeah, had a problem. <laughs> He's moving. Yeah. So I, I could, they, I, and they, the guy said my flow was so low, he was very concerned. And he put me on the medication. Yeah. And that's the whole process. Then I just stopped it all. I don't go there. Really? Because yeah, I, I, lo- I love the Cialis. I pee like, like my doctor said, how are you peeing lately? And I go, like a racehorse, you know? Yeah. You know, Since they uh, ripped mine I'm out, same thing. I, I don't pee at all at night. I'm almost like an 18-year-old now when it comes yeah. to peeing. Yeah. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, Marjorie gets up more times at night than I do. And I said, something wrong yeah. with your prostate? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, but, oh, I'm fine. I go to bed. I'm good till eight or nine in the morning. Yeah. And um, what are you taking? Uh, it's the generic for Flowmax. I think it's Tamsusilose. Oh, it's had some tram Yeah, that's, that's what they yeah. gave me. Yeah. 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 And what? Boy, so everybody's on some kind of pee medication. It seems like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you <laughs> young punk kid. Fucking I know. Well, I'm she's be not. She's not. I'm just never gonna sleep. Anyway. Look, she's going. No, I'm not. No, I'm no. not on pee. I'm on the one that I keeps you kidding. from leaking. I forget what they call it, but uh, it's it called uh, depends. It's called no, no, it's no. called it, one... it's called STP. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Sorry, I want to send you a box. <laughs> a yeah, no, there's uh, there's one. I forgot the name of it, but it's for uh, uh, t- uh, women take it after they have a child uh, because sometimes you know you cough or you laugh and turn your head the wrong way and all of a sudden you got oh yeah i've seen it advertised on tv what's it called uh, uh, i forget i take it <laughs> a name like leek tressa or something yeah leek tressa yeah <laughs> <Tressa. laughs> hey uh, alex no uh, how, do, uh, how, do, how does uh, what's the name of that chef that woman chef it makes a leek salad what's uh julia child julia child how's julia child make a leek salad first you take a leek that's right. Yes, right. <laughs> she said that once, by the way. She, yeah. she did say that. You know. Uh, how do you, uh, how do you wake up Lady Gaga? Let me hold on. Here. You poke her face. Oh, oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Wah 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 wah! <laughs> so bitch. But anyway, so, uh, you know, I mean, uh, but here's the thing. 
Never tell anybody you have cancer. Am I right? Anybody here have cancer before? Well, you did, of course, Phil. Yeah. You you had it early on in life, uh, <clears throat> Kathleen. Actually. Yep, and I didn't say a word until I got well, back from surgery. Well, I found out why. Because tonight what? I said I... I found out I have prostate cancer, and tonight I'll tell you what they're going to do about it, okay? I was just mm -hmm. promoting the show. I figure mm -hmm. by now everybody knows I've been saying I have prostate cancer. I've known that for weeks now, right? You know what's going to happen? Now you're going to get a, a, a feed on your phone, and, and every time you look at Facebook, it's going to be something about prostate cancer. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Well, so I am looking. I am looking now. Do you know how many people have replied to that? Yeah, I was looking. Richard Bay even replied. Yeah, like don't, don't be offended. I didn't say anything because I saw it. Nice 146 me. people, and it's all like, oh, my God, Alex. Oh, all the best to you. Thoughts, yeah. and, prayers, thoughts oh, and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. You know, that's the thing. About thoughts and prayers. Media, isn't it? What? Like, I, I don't put my birthday on there because of that. Yeah, well, people, listen. It's like we're now only accustomed to reacting to you know these major life events. Otherwise, people don't pay any attention. Listen, Kathy that's Sorbo true, yeah. writes. If they think you're dying, all of a sudden the family comes out of the woodwork. Alex, if, you, if this is going to increase your numbers, then post yeah. on it every day. Kathy Sorbo, who's a who's a comedian, says, "Fuck, okay, all the best from Debbie Kennedy, Alex. I'm sorry to hear this. Is this the first time?" You know, uh, from Kyle Monday, Michael Klein says, sounds like the fun show. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I'm taking is Trespian. Oh, he's back to his medication. Well, we, back to you. we don't care oh, about your medication. Uh, thoughts are with you, Alex, for a quick and complete recovery. And I even wrote halfway through, hey, guys, it's nothing. I'm going to survive this. It's not, you know. Don't worry about it. I feel sorry I even told you because you're all getting upset. You saw it, right, Kevin? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I was, I was going to respond to it, but I thought, you know, I'm not going to jump in because I'm going to talk to Alex tonight. But, you know, I, <laughs> I saw it and I went, okay, <laughs> I know what he's thinking right now. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, uh, well uh, I had a... Wait a minute. Does this mean you get a new asshole? Yes, it does, actually. Uh, sending positivity. Uh, 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 just listen to the doctor and do what he tells you. No, I'm not I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll throw caution to the wind. Right. You know, and, I, 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 and folks, I appreciate it. I mean, I do appreciate it. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. it's loving and it's caring. It but I didn't put it up there for that reason. It's not... I wish I could say it's not serious. It's certainly serious. Yeah. I've got to do something about it. I mean, I've got to do uh, radiation nope. for it. But it's not going to kill me. It's completely... It's like I told you I have an infection, so I'm going to the doctor yeah. tomorrow to get some antibiotics. I was honestly hoping 118 people were going to try and call in tonight. Uh, yeah, hey, yeah, I was uh, hoping did, too. Wait, did, you, did you do the GoFundMe? Oh, yeah, wait, I, I got something better. <laughs> I, Alex, I may have to with the copay because there's going to be about forty thousand forty thousand dollar bill you, you here. Yes, uh, you know, tell me. Yeah. Would you ever do this? I know it's morbid to do. You should say I got four, I got two weeks to live and see what they would do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, sh I should. And say, then after two weeks, you say I beat it. Well, no, you we, don't want to do we, a self fulfilling prophecy. No, we, we, we did. You we, know, I got we, a sad story no, about you that. Can't do that. We, we did. We did the. I that. can write. We but did the radioactivity, and it turns out it didn't work. Yeah, right. I got a sad story about that, I don't know but what I don't want to tell it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Kevin, what's your sad story? I don't want to tell it because it's real and it just happened. What? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. How much did you get on the GoFundMe? <laughs> no, it was it was a friend of mine or a friend of mine's friend. Oh, it, it had nothing to do with me, but got oh, diagnosed. A... Yeah. yeah. Then it was told uh, two days later that everything was fine, oh. totally cancer free, and then died three days later. Of what? What? Cancer. Oh, okay. Because sometimes you, you know, he got run over by a car. I thought you were. No, I say, won't, won't know. mention the hospitals. You know, one hospital said this, and another hospital said that, and then then went home, said, "Oh, everything's good." Boom. Bob's right. told me he about a about a comedian we know, 
who no, uh, no, who, no. who got a, a a his doctor tested him for prostate cancer, and his PSA came back a forty, which we all know is off the charts. Never heard of anything like that. Oh yeah, oh there I've heard of him eighty, ninety. Yeah, really. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The doctor forgot to call him. And now it's a year later, and he's got stage four prostate cancer. <clears throat> ah. Oh, how do uh, you? It might not have been operable anyway. No, at no, that Phil. Level. Phil, yeah. I just told you he got. He did, but he should. <laughs> if he had told him, he might have gotten to it earlier. Uh, I see. You know. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, Kevin, you're frozen again. Uh, is he? He's yeah. not what frozen on mine. Yeah, he's frozen yeah. on the Fine. He's frozen on the on Skype. He's frozen. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, he. Are you? Oh, uh, there, there. He turned himself off, and now he's going to turn himself no, back I, on. Yeah, there, like we he's there we Magic. go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic, Kevin. Yeah. So anyway, that's my uh, that's my whole prostate story, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, you know, I, it, 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 the only way it will affect this program is if I feel that I'm too fatigued or tired to do it during the process. Once they put the seeds in me, that's going to be a couple of months before the seeds die. They they stay radiated for about two months, and then they just stop working. They're still in there, but they stop working. And this gel, the separator for the bowel they put in, which I think is a gel from what I've read, it dissipates after about six months. What happens to the gold? Stays there? The gold stays there, yeah. It's used as a marker for the, uh, for the cyber knife. I see. So they put me out for that. I don't mind being put out. They give you the propofol, you go, wee, and then you're out, and next thing you know, you wake up, and, and with the uh, seeds, uh, it's an hour operation. They put you out, you wake up, they wake, wait for you to be able to walk, and then they say, get the fuck out of here. So this sounds uh, like those uh, full anesthesia. They anesthesia? Put in for my, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What'd you for say? My, uh, op uh, for his for back my infections. Then. It sounds like the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I mean, you're you know you're in and out. None of this stuff is a, is a hospital procedure. It's a hospital procedure, but it's not a. Uh, uh, it's an outpatient. It's an outpatient. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I mean, I'm in a way, I'm kind of kind of looking forward to it as kind of an adventure of sorts. The only thing I don't think I'm going to love is the side effects, and there are they aren't that bad. It's basically peeing. That's the big problem. And maybe no erections, but then again, they've, they've done me no good in my lifetime. They've gotten me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, with the peeing, uh, they can give you that same thing that I'm taking, and it really does work. Well, uh, he'll, I'm sure I have the – you've got to realize, I have perhaps the best oncologist in New York City right now. I mean, this is the guy that saved Rudy Giuliani's life. Which I know, folks, is not a happy thing, but it's it, for me. the good news is, the, 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 the bad news is, he, he saved you, right, Rudy Giuliani's life. The good news is, he saved Rudy Giuliani's life, and he's now my doctor. So, you know, and um, uh, he says he's been, he's been doing, he said he pioneered the seeds for the most part. He was one of the first ones to ever do it. And now it's become considered to be one of the most superior uh, forms of uh, of uh, taking care of the prostate. See, Kathleen, you don't have to worry about any of this shit. You know, no prostate. All you had to worry about was breast cancer, and that's that's over and done with years ago. So, you know, and some women get pussy cancer. You know, uh, and. Uh, but uh, oh, is your son now giving you? Does he sit over there, <laughs> Kathleen? Does your son sit over there and give me looks during the entire show? Is that yes. what he does? No, sometimes he's over there laughing. <laughs> so uh, fatigue and nausea are the two biggest things. With I the cyber know. Knife. Skin irritation, rash at the site of radiation delivery. I know. And change, uh, don't oh, I you know think, you don't know, think but, I've uh, read this shit? Yeah, changes in body function. 
What my yeah. my my arm is going to become my leg? What? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Well, no, the body function. So, uh, uh, sex change. Uh, yeah, pro- <laughs> so, <laughs> all those yeah. are are possible. But the, the my doctor said the most common that you might face is having to pee a little more. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he said. You know. He said. I. I this is all. Low tech. They go in through the perineum, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's where they uh, do all the operating. So my uh, and he says, but it won't hurt afterwards. So won't hurt him. No, he <laughs> said it doesn't hurt at all. He said, I may, uh, uh, from what I've read, I may want to spend the first day kind of at home, maybe in bed, not doing anything, not exerting myself. But you know, I mean, I'm glad only five radiation treatments as opposed to forty. Yeah. I didn't want to do the forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which just said that, and, and that's why they're doing the cyber knife now. And that's why this guy yeah. does it too. He and but, how how new is that uh, cyber knife? Uh, it's not that new, but up until about five years ago, it wasn't used for prostate. It was used for brain cancer. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, recently, it's been used for prostate and been very successful. But he feels that with what I have, he wants to make sure he gets all of it, okay? So he's doing that. He says that alone he doesn't think will clear it up. That will get a lot of it. The, the seeds will get the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, did he think that if you had a biopsy earlier in this uh, thing that that would have been a positive thing? No, because it hasn't spread. Oh, Okay. He said, you know, there, there are any number of reasons why I have it, mm-hmm. you know, the, but the biggest factor is that I'm 80 years old tomorrow, by the way. Yeah, I still don't know why people get prostate cancer, you know. Why I, me? Well, because they use it a lot, either, okay? But I will tell you, if I may, yeah. that I didn't have any problems historically. Uh, it was when I, how do I put this, when I started dating more. When you started dating you know, more, you started having prostate problems? I, I, I believe that it was as a result of that. Well, I have been, a, a, in my lifetime, a chronic masturbator. That's something, to, it's really a nice thing for me to admit here on the air, right? And a nose picker, too. Yeah, a nose picker, too. <laughs> but a chronic masturbator. And then I read that the people who masturbate three or four times a week have less of a possibility of prostate cancer. Did work. It did work. Look yeah. how long, once you get to be my age, you know, your odds are, you're going to... Pretty high, yeah. Usually... I have this friend, yeah. what is melanoma? Uh, that, skin cancer. Skin cancer. Skin cancer, okay. Yeah, like my parents had skin cancer. It was a big deal. But she keeps inviting me to join her private group where she talks about her fight with melanoma and i'm sorry i just like she's my friend and i wish her the best but i don't need to follow that like i don't need that in my daily diet of yeah. you know, it links to her GoFundMe. i i like steven Eady's <laughs> old song blame it on the melanoma so, yeah, i don't remember yeah. that you don't remember that like i i wish her all the best but like mm-hmm. she's invited me like five times it's like okay okay you know i i really wish you the best but I don't need an update every day, you know. She's it's, proud of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, I don't know. Yeah, it's like I don't think maybe Kath, it's. It I don't think Facebook. I don't think maybe Kathleen ever it. ever joined a breast cancer, uh, what do you call it, group? You know, support. Or, group. It could be a cathartic thing for her to help her with getting through it. You know, maybe you know maybe that's yeah. what she needs. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right, and I and I wish her all the best, but I'm not joining the group. You know? Yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, so I'm I'm kind of kind of happy that I, you know, that, that at least I know what the what the course is going to be. Now I want to get it over with. I don't want all this. I'm like I'm having to wait through the Christmas season. You know, they, nobody's nobody's going to start any of this till after the first of the year. That's and I'm true, going yeah. to my doctor on Friday to have him do all the testing. He isn't even going to see the results of that testing till he gets back from the new year, you know? So, uh, it, it's, it's just, you know, it's just the time it's going to take. I want to get it over with. I love the idea. I'm only going to have to do five days of radiation, you know? 
and yeah. um, mm-hmm. uh, and 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 that kind of radiation because there's less of an effect on the rest of the surrounding organs. So, you know, and um, so we will kill it like crazy, and uh, I'll, I'll get back. I, it's, um, I'll have to worry about something else. You know. Uh, even my neuropathy is getting better from the lyrica, so I I don't know I feel I feel better. You know. uh, the neuropathy and, probably got better because of the chiropractic yeah. adjustment that you yeah. went through. So what are they doing with <laughs> your thing, uh, 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 Kevin? Uh, it, 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 I'm sorry, w- say that again. It, what what are they doing with your thing? Are they going to give you another PSA test or what? Whatever. No, they're doing the this thing here, and then they're going to do a Cisco. Cisco, whatever that is. Ciscoscopy? Oh, yeah. That's, that, that's oh, fun. they want to see if there's anything going on in the bladder. That's fun. Watch, watch, yeah. watch every male in this, uh, on this cringe, panel yeah. cringe. That's yeah, when I, they. I don't st- want to do that's that. when they stick a python up your dick. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, you know, it's only a second or two. Yeah, right. And, no, yeah. they don't, unfortunately. But bring your own Valium. And uh, you know, uh, pop also, it. also, once they they have to go around the corner. Once they get around the corner, you're fine, you know. Screw and all that. I all I did was I told the guy who was doing mine, and he did it twice. He must have loved doing uh-huh. this because it must have made him money. Uh, this is why <laughs> I don't trust urology. Did you it twice, huh? but, he, but he he did it, and uh, I as he was doing it, I I after he said only about two minutes, and we were getting on to three minutes, and I said. Unless you're finding gold in there, I'd get the <laughs> hell out. Oh. Yeah, well, come on, be it's lucky gold. if he gets one minute And the first, on time, the first time he did it, it got infected, and I had to take antibiotics because I, st- oh, I, I almost died from, like, you know. I can only imagine the pain that must have been. It's not. You know what it is? A lot of the these infection. things aren't painful, Tony. They're just what? fucking annoying. You know, okay, okay. They're just annoying. I would be in bad. You know what I found no. the easiest thing I've ever done in my life? The biopsy. You I were thought, that I thought from that. listening to these guys, <laughs> it was funny. It was like, yeah. I, I, no, so, Kevin and I are going, no. <laughs> well, I I, I, my guy, I guess, put some gel or something in there, and it was just fine. I didn't feel a thing. All I heard was, boom, 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 boom. It was like a staple gun. Yeah. I thought the guy said, "Is this Bruce? Doesn't feel like Bruce." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. So that's that's uh, that's my story, and uh, I hope uh, uh, everybody out there listening who tuned back in has been interested in hearing it. Um, uh, how many uh, how many people you got on here? Only uh, about twenty, but nineteen. But that's because yeah. we went off. Yeah. You know, we went off and a lot of people figured we weren't going to be on tonight. Folks, whenever you find that I'm not here, check back. Because chances are it's something that some program fucked up. You know, and I was sick and I'm sick and tired of this stuff going on. I mean, I, you know, who needs it? You know, yeah. well, it's not bad. You got 70 percent of a full house. So, you know, I got 70 percent right. of a full house. That's, yeah. that's good. And uh, plus, we have our uh, our, uh, our our lady here, uh, Kathleen, who a- adds a female presence to the group. You've been a little quiet tonight. Well, and, I don't and, have a prostate. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, it's Jeff, like, it's, and Jeff, it's like Jeff, my wife, she says, "I don't, I don't feel shit. I don't give a shit what you got. They got to do to you." She doesn't have any sympathy for my ass at all. Yeah, right. And and, yeah, and, and, and you don't know and, what we have and, to go and through. And Jeff, you, I, uh, you they put my tit in a vice. Jeff, Jeff, I don't think oh outside of the beginning hasn't said anything, have you, Jeff? Yeah, probably. Uh, other than it's cold. And snowy and, and yeah. raining and yeah. lousy weather. Today. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, but that was his contribution tonight. That's uh, right. Yeah. But you know, prostate. I was very. Uh, um, I, I, for some reason, I haven't had to do anything seriously on this, so I'm happy. Well, you, 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 God you, felt uh, guilty with all the other shit he gave you. I know. At, at your age, <laughs> my, at your age, my PSA was still down like a one-something. So, you know, uh, chances are, you know, it could be you'll go without any problem that way. God knows you've had a bunch of them anyway. 
Like, oh, you know, I, know. I got a whole you know I, I, list I, of things to come. Up I mean, until a couple of years ago, your PSA was a one something. Y- yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. very low. Yeah, so you know, it's just it's just that I I lived long enough. That's all, and I will have lived that long tomorrow because tomorrow right. is my 80th. Well, it is already. It's my 80th birthday. Well, oh, no, in two minutes. Happy birthday! Two happy minutes. Happy birthday, Alex. Two minutes. I'll be 80. Oh God. Jeez. See, yeah. by now, if we had kept dating Kathleen, you'd be going out with an old man. <laughs> <laughs> old man. <laughs> but then again, for the kind of women I went out with, you'd be an old woman. So, you know, what the hell. <laughs> anyway, I hope we all see you back here. It's going to be my big birthday show tomorrow night, and I'm going to make sure nothing fucks up like it did tonight. What kind of cake do you like? Uh, I'm not having cake because I'm on my... Like really? You gotta have a piece of cake. No, oh, I, you no. got a cake. This even a little slip up. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, I have better cake. You, yeah, you could have some cake. It wouldn't hurt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. slip up. Uh, anyway, thanks, Tony. Thank you, uh, Bree. Uh, thank you, uh, Jeff. Thank you, uh, Kathleen. Thank you, uh, uh, Phil. And thank you, Kevin. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see you again tomorrow night. You know, we'll all have a big birthday party or something here. Yeah. Hey, happy sure. birthday. It, 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 is it any kind of birthday to be celebrating, folks? Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. Okay? There we go. There they go. Ah, that's it for our program tonight. Thanks to everybody. I really appreciate it. They did a, a wonderful job here of, uh, of calling the program and being part of the citizen panel. And I thought, basically, you're just talking about my problem. Anyway, listen, right after this is the, uh, is the, um, ex- uh, the intersection with uh, Jack Bishop. And then I will be back again tomorrow. Uh, just a year older, deeper in debt, whatever. Uh, in the meantime, as always, uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, and that be right after Damien. Oh, well, first they do the sports show at uh, 8.30, and then at 9.30 Eastern Time, it's Damien. And then I'll be on at 10 o'clock tomorrow night, same time. Same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.